Monday night is over. Hi guys, this is Connie. And I just forgot what the date was. I think it's the 7th. I hope it's the 7th. Yeah, I think so. Um, anywho, I'm showing off my little Forever Mama necklace. It's an early, um, I was getting ready to say Thanksgiving for some reason. Because you give out gifts at Thanksgiving. That's how good today has been. That's that's where my brain is at this moment in time. So there were 15 minutes. It probably could have been longer. It probably was really shorter. Earlier, after Mustachio went to work, where the baby just scream cried for... In reality, it was probably not for a total more of like three minutes, but it felt like an eternity. And it was very painful, and I put in earplugs, and I cried with her because she's teething. She's got the two on top, but she's got the two on the bottom. But she's growing more of them, uh, and it's just uh, not to mention on Sunday, she apparently took a tumble while I was out, and Mustachio was watching her, and she's got this bruise on her cheek right back here. And then there's just a line right here from where she hit the steps. And I'm just like, <laughs> other than being a little extra cuddly, she's been her normal self. Her pupils were equal and reactive and she wasn't behaving in any other way that made me feel like she was uh, in danger or uh, needed to go seek professional help. Um, and so she had a pretty good day. She slept reasonably well um, it's been interesting because I feel like we've all reverted back to before her sleep uh, before we were trying to do some sleep training so uh, and then I did some Pokemon going I went out to after I went swimming with grandma and grandma took a little bit of a spill today which made my heart hurt because I appreciate her and I don't want to see her hurt herself we actually made it to the pool. We saw a friend of mine at the pool with her baby. And then we went to a raid after we got some late lunchish stuff. And we ended up talking with a couple of people there for a while. And I just let her play out in the grass. So she had a good time in the shade. <sighs> we came home, watched a little bit more of a movie before Mustachio came home. And Mustachio and I ended up having a really lovely dinner. So, and now I'm doing arts and crafts. I'm putting together the last couple pictures of her first year. I was able to get a picture of every year, every month on the third. And I like it so much and kids grow up so much every month that I'm seriously considering doing it for as long as I can, for as long as she's alive. I just want to take a picture of her on the third so you can see, so I can see how much she has grown in those in every month because babies and children just grow a lot plus I got a lot of pictures from my brother which is they're so cute and if you don't see my uh, social media there's my shameless plug at Connie Tryon I love posting stuff on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook and oh, it just makes me so happy but this is an early Mother's Day gift because in the last uh, do I want to have honesty hour right now yeah, I think I'll go there, because I know I'm not the only one that feels like this. The last week or so, I've had this just like, there are times where I just want to run away and not deal with my responsibilities. And I know everybody has those moments, but I, I know that I made a decision. I made a decision to love my husband and to love my children. And... Uh, I want to honor that decision. That's the long and the short of it. But there are definitely those brief moments, very, 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 very tiny moments where you think about running away and just living a whole, a whole completely different life. And a part of me goes, nah, I'm good. I'm good right where I'm at. Definitely could use some help and definitely trying to put, put things together and start cleaning things up and clearing some clutter and I don't know just trying to find a balance and just taking my sweet time doing it it's already five minutes so I'm good
to call it a night. Be careful with that and enjoy. Please and thank you. Tomorrow morning, that means I'm gonna, instead of watching a video, we'll probably go to the basement and you'll see another update of Connie Reed's The Dogs of Winter. Don't miss the button this time, Connie.